Hi everyone, this is Shannon from theirishscrapper.com and today I have my April um, team make and take project um, for my team of lucky stampers. So each month I like to create a little project and then send them all kits. Um, and since most of them are not local, I mail them out and then we can all kind of create a cute little project together. Um, so this is the project that we're creating, this cute little um, gift bag. And I have one of our... Um, Three, these are three by six gusseted bags from the annual catalog and I just have a little bit of shreddy in there just to hold it um, open and sit in there nice and then I put a little cute ribbon so let's go ahead and show you how easy it is to create this fun little bag so I'm using the tropical um, chic designer series paper or tropical escape I'm sorry the suite is called tropical chic um, these are the 6x6 six six designer series papers, so you're going to need two of those. And then I'm choosing to have this side as our outside of the bag, and then this will be our little fold here at the top. So depending on the pattern, I think I'm going to want the lines vertical like that. Um, so we have two 6x6s, six and we're going to use a scrap of Whisper White and Shaded Spruce for our squares for our sentiment. So I'm using our um, stitch shapes. This is the second largest square and then I'm using the layering squares, just one that fits right over it. And for our stamp set today I'm using our clear mount um, stitched all around and we're using Oh Darling You Are Fabulous. Alright, so I'm going to bring in my scoreboard here. You could use your trimmer as well for this. So for, I'm going to make sure my lines are going the proper way. We are going to score at one and a half on three sides. Okay, so I've got one and a half there. I'm going to rotate my paper, do one and a half here. And I'm going to rotate again and do one and a half here. And then on that fourth side, I'm going to um, score at three quarters. Okay, so you can see now here's the three quarter inch line, and that is the way I want my lines to go. Um, so this is going to fold back this way, and that's going to be the top lip of our bag. So we're going to do the same now to our other piece. So I'm going to lay it in here. I'm going to do one and a half. Rotate. One and a half. Rotate again. One and a half. And then on that final edge, three quarters. Okay. And then we are done with our scoreboard or trimmer. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my bone folder here. And I'm going to put my top piece back and give that a nice score. And then we're going to fold all of our other lines, give those a nice burnish. So we have a nice uh, crisp edge. Okay, here's my other piece. And I'm keeping that top rim um, down so that we get a nice burnish on it. So hopefully our edge will be nice and clean. Okay, so now on the bottom, we are going to cut up these two score lines to that score line. So depending on your pattern, it might be a little hard to see. I'm going to cut all the way up. I'm going to fold that piece in and I'm just going to take a little edge off. So you might call that mitering, cutting on a diagonal. I'm just going to take a hair off. That just makes it easier to fold. And then we'll do the same to our other piece. Okay. 
That's another reason you want to burnish um, before you do this, so you can kind of see a nice score line. Okay. Let me back up my scissors there. All right. Okay, so now we can grab our liquid glue, and I'm going to lay down our top rim of our bag. So I'm going to add my liquid glue there. I'm just going to hold that for a moment. The liquid glue is great here because you have a little bit of time to make sure you're lined up. Good. There we go. Whoops, I got some glue on my desk. Okay. All right, and then we are going to put glue on both of these tabs on our layers. So I will start with one of them. And then we'll lift up and we will fold this in. Line that up. Just give that a nice press. Now we'll take our other tab and you can see just getting that corner in there. Okay, and then you can take your fingers, I've got glue on myself, and just give that a nice kind of crease again. Okay, let's do our next one. So it's a, such a cute little quick bag to hold a little gift or maybe a treat, whatever works. I'm going to fold this in now again on this side. And then we are going to fold in this one as well. Okay. Give that a nice press. Okay. And then these are just going to layer into one another like that. So you could decide, you know, if there's a certain one that you like better for being the front. Um, I think I'm going to go, whoops, this way. And so on the front, I'm going to put adhesive here and on both sides, which I know will be kind of hard to see here, but when I get the glue in there, whoops, I just hit the camera with my head. Sorry about that. Okay, so you can see I've put glue on the bottom and both sides. And now we're going to put this side in. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of line those up. I like to lay it down and get my two fingers in there and kind of press that down. Okay, and there we have our little box already. All right, now we'll just grab our big shot and we'll do our squares. Let me set that aside for a moment. Okay, I do have my magnetic um, platform in here with a clear cutting plate. We are going to do our square, stitched square in the Whisper White. So I'm gonna run this scrap through. Carefully pop this out. Okay, now I'll take my shaded spruce. So I'm just pulling out, you know, any of the colors that is in that designer series paper. So if you were using a different designer series paper, you could use whatever coordinates. And that stitched square, again, was the uh, second largest stitched square. And then I've used a layering square here to um, just border. So you can see just a very uh, small border. You could go a little larger if you choose. Okay, so let's move our big shot. And now with our... Um, stitched square. We're going to grab our sentiment. Oh darling, you are fabulous. I have my Blushing Bride ink here. And we are going to ink that up. 
and I just want to make sure I have this straight. So, and I'm doing that about in the middle. Looks good. Okay. All right, let me grab my adhesive. We're going to add to the back of this. We will line that up. And that looks good. <sighs> Got little, little hairs there from the die. Now we're going to grab some dimensionals. And I'm going to use the edges of mine here. And then we will just put this down onto the front of our bag to give that a nice press. And then again, I'm using our 3x6 gusseted um, clear bags. Those are in our annual catalog. And this is a piece of the shimmer ribbon. This is actually um, in powder pink, but it goes just beautifully with the Blushing Bride. Um, and there might be some of the shreddies still available in the clearance rack if you're interested in that. We had some... Um, white, silver, as well as, I think it was berry burst if I'm not mistaken. Um, so it just makes a good filling um, until you have a gift or a treat treat idea. So I hope you guys have enjoyed um, today's team make and take and I look forward to being back with you guys real soon. You can find a full supply list in the description of the video.